there, Coach Mel, joining you for another crochet tutorial. So today we are going to work on our last granny of the month. This is the Savannah granny. It is out of the, sorry, there's a glare there, the granny square book. The link will be down below. Um, and we are doing Savannah, which is number 75. This book is great. If you have not picked one up yet and you like doing grannies, I highly recommend this. It's a great book. Everyone has the written instructions. It also has the graph instructions. Um, and that link will be down below in, um, in the notes. So when you press on the name of the video, it'll bring you to the notes in the video. So I'm gonna change my color scheme a little bit because I'm getting low on some of my colors. But we are going to start here right in the middle with that good old um, Coach Mel's magic loop and then work our way out. So you can see this is a little bit different um, in that it's bringing kind of your points in a different area and then very thick and full along the outside. All right, grab a hook, grab some yarn, and let's get started. All righty, first things first, we have to start with that Coach Mel's magic loop. So you may have seen me do this before, but let me do it again. We're gonna start with that backwards figure four, as I like to call it. You're gonna come through the loop, grab your yarn, and then come up with a little bit of a twist. All right, make that loop a little bit smaller. It's easier to handle. And then we're gonna start with a chain two. Now the book is a chain three. I prefer to do a chain two. If you've watched my other granny tutorials, you'll see that I did make that chain change. All right, so this starts very much like a traditional granny square. So we have our chain two. Now we're gonna do two double crochets. One, two, we're gonna chain two. Now we need to do three double crochets. One, two, and three. We're gonna chain two. One, two, three more double crochets. Now remember, I'm going over, in this magic loop, I'm going over both the tail and the loop. Two, three, chain two, three more, one, two, three. All right, now that was my final, all right, so I have my where I started, one, two, three, group. So I'm gonna pull this in and I need a chain two to get this final corner. One, two, and then I'm gonna bring myself over here to this first double with a slip stitch. So work your way into that stitch, pull through, through again, and we have started just like a traditional granny. All right, we now need to go into making this section, which I'm gonna switch to my pink, but we're gonna finish off where we are, where, with that beginning, okay? And now I'm gonna move myself over here to this chain two space. I'm gonna pull in the pink, maybe. <laughs> Pull in the pink, all right? And we're gonna start right here with a single crochet. All right, now where this is different is we need to make corners, but we're gonna make the corners along this edge. So I need three double crochets in this center double crochet from my first row. So come in to that center, one double, two doubles, three doubles. We're gonna chain two, because we're making a corner now. Now I need three more doubles right in that same spot. One, 
two, and three. All right, and now over in this chain two spot, I need a single crochet. So you can see what we're doing. We're making the, the corner now opposite, so it's along a straight side. So we'll do that again. We're gonna start in that middle. So one, two, three, we're going into two with three double crochets. One, sorry, two, I get some more yarn, and three. Chain two, again, one, two, and three, and finish with a single in the corner from the first row. All right, so you're gonna do the next two by yourself. You're gonna do three, chain two, three double crochets, a uh, single crochet here, and then you're gonna do three doubles, chain two, three doubles, and then we will meet over at the end of this row. All right, so I did just did my last three double crochets. Now remember, we started over here with a single crochet, so we don't need to put in a single, but we need to finish this row with a slip stitch. So you're gonna come over to that single, and you're gonna pull through and through to slip stitch, and we are going to finish off that row. All right, so we have it going one direction and then the other direction, all right? And now I'm gonna switch over, I'm gonna do the same color. We need to go around again. All right, we're gonna bring in our third color. We're going to start in a corner. So go ahead and pull that new color in. Chain one just to secure it. Now, again, we're gonna start with a single crochet right here in this space. Okay, and we need a chain one. Now, we're gonna be working in this single crochet from the last, whoops, sorry. We're gonna be working in the single crochet from this last row. We need four double crochets into that single. One. Make sure you're going in that right spot. Good, two, three, four. Now we're making a corner. So we have a chain two. We have to put four more doubles right into that same spot. One, two, three, and four, okay? Now, coming out of this, we're going to do a chain one, and we need a single crochet, but this time our single crochet is going into the corner from the last row. Single crochet, chain one, and now we're gonna work into that single crochet from the last row, four doubles, chain two, four doubles. Here we go. One, two, I'm sorry, I didn't go in the right spot. Oh yes I did, I'm in the single. Okay, we're good. All right, so now we're gonna do our four doubles into that single. One, two, three, and four. Remember this is a corner, which means it needs a chain two. Four more doubles in that same spot. One, two, three, Four. Coming out of that, we need a chain one, and over in this corner right here, a single crochet. Coming out of that, a chain one. All right, so you're gonna do four doubles right here in that single. Chain two, four doubles. Chain two, four doubles. Chain two, four doubles. Chain two, four 
Chain one coming out of that and your single goes in the corner. So go ahead and finish bringing yourself over to this other side. All right, we've made our way around. I finished over here with my four doubles. I need a chain one and then we are going to slip stitch right here into that single crochet where we started. Pull through, pull through, clip, and finish off. All right, I'm gonna switch back to the pink as we do our next row. So this row right here. All right, we are actually doing a row here of single crochets first. So again, we're gonna start in a corner we're going to pull in our new color, chain one, okay? And we are going to start with a single crochet right here in this corner. So single crochet, chain two, another single crochet in that same corner. Just get that out of the way. And now we're going to do single crochets across. Now, coming out of this corner, really important, you need to hit that stitch right there. So each double crochet is gonna get a single. One, two, three, and four. All right, we have a chain one space. We're gonna put a single in that space. We have our single crochet from the last row. That gets a single crochet. We have our chain one space, and then we're gonna work our way across each of these doubles crochets again. So one, two, three, four. We're gonna finish with single in that space from the corner, chain two, another single, and we're gonna continue single in each of the doubles, a single in the space, a single in the single, a single in the space, single in each of the doubles, and then it's a single in that space, chain two and single. All right, go ahead and work yourself around. We are not gonna fasten off this time. We're gonna use this color for the next row. All right, we started this row with a single, so to finish, we have to do that slip stitch pull through and pull through, but we are not finishing off here. We need to slip stitch over to this chain two space to start the next row. So go ahead and slip yourself over. All right, and we're gonna do a chain of four here. The first two count as a double, the next two as part of our corner. We're then gonna put a double crochet into this corner. All right, so that created that first corner. And now we're gonna do a double crochet in each of our single crochets across. So coming out of that corner, starting right here in this very first one, double crochet in each single crochet. So it's worth it to do a count and make sure that you're okay. The last row had 13 single crochets going across. I will double check the count on this one and let you know what it is. But just double crochet in each across. When we get to the corner, we're gonna do our traditional corner. Get some more yarn here. Double in each single. Go until you get to that corner. All right, in the corner, it gets a double, chain two, and a double. And coming out of that corner, we're gonna hit that first stitch right there, right away, and continue. All right, so we're gonna do this all the way around. You can see it makes a nice 
thick edging there, double crochets. When you get to the corner, it's a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Hit that first stitch coming right out of there, and work yourself all the way around. All right, the end of this row is just a little bit different because we started here with that chain of four. The first two counted as the double, and then the other two were the corner. So you're gonna slip stitch into chain two. So one, two, you're gonna come into that stitch. I like to get two loops over my hook when I do that. Pull through and pull through. And again, I'm gonna fasten this color off. All right. So that is as far as the instructions in the book went. If you look at what I did, I did another row. Oh, and this row was 15 on each side. So go ahead and give a count. Make sure you have 15 on each side. Do that before you fasten off there. Um, then your next row would be 17. It always increases by two each time. So what I did here is I did another row just like that last row. It was 17 on each side. And then I actually finished this off with a row of singles. And what I did on that was...